Welcome to the build tutorial for the Lemurbox Retro DIY 1.0 model. You can build your device from scratch in just a few minutes if you follow the correct order. First, we build out the base unit. Then we attach the back wall to it. This is followed by bringing in the left wall, the one with the diorama hole. Then, you attach the pieces mapping to the ceiling of the device that hosts the device projection chamber. Finally, you insert the right wall to form the device skeleton and then carefully slide in the acrylic screen. Before beginning the actual build process, we recommend the following three pre-process steps. First, attach the lighting elements provided such as LEDs or your own bespoke lighting device to the lighting panel. Secondly, connect the U-type and J-type stoppers to the separator piece that demarcates the projection chamber from the lighting panel in the ceiling unit. Third, carefully peel away the protective covering on both sides of the acrylic screen so that it is ready to be slid into its position. With these in mind, let us begin the build process. To begin with, note that it's extremely important to align the base unit in such a way that the two attached holes that will host friction fit key mechanism are facing the front side towards the builder. Now, insert the thin acrylic screen stopper piece into the three rectangular holes placed in the front of the base unit. Let us now turn our attention to the back wall piece. First, we insert and attach the top of the back wall the thin ridge piece with the three rectangular slots. After that, take this inserted pair and attach it to the base unit from the previous step. This combination of the back wall connected to the base is then carefully inserted into the appropriate perforations on the left wall. This is the piece with the diorama access door by the way. At the end of this stage, the shell of the device begins to appear with the base connected to the back wall and the left wall. Let us now turn our attention towards building the ceiling piece that will morph into a projection chamber meant to hold the smartphone or the tablet. Upon closer inspection, you will see arrays of rectangular perforations on the front and back side of the ceiling piece. We carefully insert the correct ridge pieces into these slots as demonstrated here. Before moving to the last remaining right wall, use the friction fit locking keys to ensure that the newly created ceiling piece with the projection chamber is firmly connected to the left wall. Now, tilt the built shell onto the left wall exposing the grooves for receiving the right wall onto the top as shown. The right wall should then be seamlessly joined to the rest of the shell built using the friction fit slotting mechanism provided. Impart gentle pressure on the right wall to ensure tight fit. In order to ensure structural stability, use the friction fit locking stoppers and insert them into the two slots provided at the top and bottom edges of the right face that you just connected with the device body. Stick the given lighting elements to the lighting panel and insert the panel in the grooves of the lighting chamber in the back portion of the ceiling structure as shown here. Attach the friction fit locking stopper to the bottom hole of the left wall and close the diorama door to further structurally reinforce the device. As the penultimate step, attach the 45-degree angular acrylic screen holders on either walls and lock them into their positions using the friction fit locking stoppers provided. Now, simply insert the phone holder into the projection chamber and cover the device with the pediment slab piece provided. As a final step, carefully remove the protective coating from the acrylic screen and carefully insert the screen below the projection chamber while resting the acrylic piece on the 45-degree support pieces that you had just inserted in the previous step. To ensure that the entire hardware configuration is working smoothly, just turn on the lights in the lighting chamber, insert your tablet or smartphone and play a test video from our YouTube channel. Each lemur box may be customized to look unique by replacing the front pediment flap with say, the Greek Parthenon, the Japanese temple pediment or even a lemur-shaped one. Furthermore, we've also provided for a tripod mount adapter screw hole washer at the bottom so that you may connect your own tripod stand if required. For projecting 3D content, use the mobile device holder to slot any smartphone such as the Pixel phone or remove it and directly place larger projection devices such as the Amazon Fire tablet. The projection chamber supports most smartphones and tablets with 7 to 7.5-inch 7 screen sizes including iPad mini. As shown here, as long as the 3D content projection device dimensions are roughly 5 inches width by 8.5 inches in length, you are good to go. To conclude, hope you have as much fun building and using the lemur box as we had designing and building it for you. Good luck!